come back here and you know touch some grass. I live here now. Let's man. call the paparazzi and go be seen. I know you're shocked to your core right now. Also, you may be wondering if me and Sarah have figured out our European summer. Uh, I am waiting right now to find out if I am going to South Korea. It looks so good. What the hell is this? What am I doing with my life? Guys, I haven't vlogged in like a month. Literally have not picked up my camera, I think, since Coachella. I kind of don't remember how to do this. But what better place to figure out how to do this again than the fucking Sheridan in Boston. Am I right? Look at the view. Look at the view. Normally, we have the view of the river. So I'm really sorry to everyone that is upset right now that we currently can't see the river. You can kind of see a body of water over there. But you know what? These buildings are just going to have to do for now. I decided that after the past month that I've had of Coachella, back-to-back -back weekends of craziness, and then what the fuck did I do after that? Oh my God, went to Vegas for Sarah's birthday. Day, then I went to Disney World, then I went to Hawaii with Bruno Mars. <laughs> I decided I needed to come back here and, you know, touch some grass. It is Saturday. I went out last night. I posted some TikToks about it, but me and some of my best guy friends from middle school and high school and literally the guy that I dated when I was 12 to 15, we all went out to Bodega Canal, I think, in Boston. Had fun. Then we went to Memoir at Encore, which is the casino in Everett. Went to the club for a little bit and then we ran around the casino and I had the best time ever. That was exactly what I needed and it just scratched an itch that I have just had for a hot minute. I stayed at the Sheridan last night, woke up this morning. Me and Lindsay are here right now. I just extended my hotel another night and we're going out to dinner at this new restaurant called Moo. Have not heard of it until about two hours and like 34 minutes ago, I think. Lindsay made the reservation. She's in the freaking shower. We just went to Brandy Melville. I just spent a disgusting amount of money, but we are getting ready right now because we're going out to dinner and then we are probably gonna go to the club. It's so funny going out in Boston because there are just so many of you fucking everywhere, everywhere I go. And it is just the best thing ever. Ever. I love coming back home because everyone is just so nice and I am in fact extremely hungover because I took so many different shots with some of you guys yesterday and every single shot that I took was a different type of alcohol so I was like oh my god this is just really not gonna end well for me and it did not it did not I woke up this morning was so fucking sick but that's okay you live and you learn and it was worth it it was worth it I feel like we just need to catch up guys we have so much to catch up on we have so much to do Lindsay has already started drinking she just opened a bottle of wine I personally cannot fucking do that right now because I will throw up when I'm hungover and I am about to start drinking again I need to be insanely stimulated once I start drinking or else I'm going to fall asleep. I'm in a room right now. We're in dead silence. If I drink that wine right now, guess what I'll do? I'll get in that fucking bed and I'll go right the fuck to sleep. So, so. God, I guess this means I have to like start doing my makeup and shit. So maybe I'll start doing that. Fuck. I'm gonna chug this Red Bull really fast and then we're gonna, we're gonna see what kind of energy I have. Also like half of our friends that were supposed to go out to dinner with us tonight just fucking bailed. Someone wants to give me lip filler on Monday. Here? Yeah. You should. I know, I probably will. I should probably DM them back. Okay, I'm gonna do that and chug this Red Bull and then we're gonna go from there. <laughs> Good morning. Oh my god, wait, I should not be wearing this top right now because I think I want to wear it tomorrow because the Celtics are in game seven, baby. Didn't really end up vlogging last night like I was planning on doing. I had a fabulous night with Lindsay, but to be quite honest, there just honestly wasn't really much to vlog. Nothing insane really happened. I love that I'm putting on my earrings right now as if I'm like dressing up this towel on my head. But we went to this new jazz restaurant club that just opened up in Seaport called Grace by Nia. I think it's just called Grace. I don't fucking know. I met Miss Nia Grace herself. That was awesome. I feel like Boston has needed a place like that for so long and to be quite honest that's kind of all I do in LA these days I love a good jazz bar and I know this is going to be shocking information to you guys I like live music I know you did not know that about me I know you're shocked to your core right now but I just love live music so I just love a good jazz bar these days TBH like unless we're talking about Vegas like fuck the club people just go to clubs to be seen not to have a good time but if you go to a jazz bar that's a good motherfucking time like everyone just wants to dance sing yell play an instrument I don't know then after that we went to big night live big fat no for me it was Drake themed night and just love a good Drake themed night, but not last night. It's 85 degrees out today. I'm gonna walk to Tate right now, get another sandwich, and then I'm going to get on the good old commuter rail, the MBTA, and go back to my house because it's 85 fucking degrees out and I wanna sit by the pool. I can't believe I have my tie on my arm. I'm gonna tell you guys a lot about the past few weeks later on in this vlog. <laughs> Guys, 
we're back in LA. I feel like I spent the rest of my Boston trip just hanging out with my family. It was my dad's birthday and my brother's birthday. So the content from that has unfortunately ended, but now we're back in LA and I'm just getting back into the swing of things. But before we do anything else, I wanna talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Halara. Halara is a really awesome female founded activewear company. The funny thing about this is, and I'm gonna talk to you more about this trip in a second, is a couple weeks ago, I was in Vegas with Ashlyn and Sarah and one morning, Ashlyn woke up and one of the first things she said is, guys, I keep getting ads on my Instagram for Halara. Has anyone tried them? And should I give them a go? And I looked at her and I was like, wait, dude, that's actually so funny because I just ordered a ton of stuff from them and reached out to them about working together, which has ultimately ended up happening and I'm so excited about it. And I was like, yeah, dude, you need to order their stuff because it's so good. I personally am always very skeptical of activewear brands because you never know if the quality of their stuff is gonna be good, but Halara is amazing. The best part is I do have a 20% off code. It's just my name, Caitlin Ray. And anyone who uses my code to place an order is actually gonna get a free pair of socks too, but that's only valid for the first 100 orders with my code. So jump on that. And obviously all the products I'm about to show you are gonna be listed below in the description box. So right now I'm wearing the seamless high-waisted butt lift legging. I'm gonna angle my camera down so you can see this butt. Oh my God, I meant butt as in like not my butt, but like the other meaning of butt, but it, it works. Like, yeah, I am gonna move my camera down so you can see this butt. Butt lifting leggings are my new favorite thing in the entire world. Like, are you actually kidding me right now? It just really helps enhance what you already got going on. The leggings are in a size small. I'm so happy I didn't size down or up. That's another thing that always stresses me out, sizing, but Halara's sizing is just so accurate. So so the detailing of the leggings is just so good too. This does not look like a cheap material in any way, shape, or form. And the top that I have paired with these leggings right now is the Seamless Flow Low Double Strap Backless Crisscross Sports Bra. It's got a little bit of padding in it too. So this is what the back looks like, really cute. But you know what makes me even happier than this set? The white set. Oh, the white set is to die for. I truly wish I was kidding when I said this right now, but as I'm in the middle of filming this, my main camera actually just broke. If you see a quality switch or this weird hair sticking up that is apparently retreating to go down. I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, moving on. This is one of my favorite workout sets that I have owned in the longest time. This is actually the exact same top that I just showed you before, but obviously in white and then the pants. These are the Cloudful High Waist Crossover Back Pocket Butt Lifting Super Flare Yoga Leggings. I feel like a rich mom in the Hamptons during summertime when I wear this outfit. Like I feel like I'm about to go get in my Range Rover and go to a yoga class. And I feel like I definitely own a working camera. I got the pants in an excess and the top in an excess. Like, are we kidding? The material of these pants are so soft too. It genuinely feels like if you were to make pants out of butter, this is what you would get. I wish that I could just have everyone reach through the screen and feel these. Like this aspect and the butt aspect are my two favorite trends when it comes to leggings right now. And the fact that it has both of it, these are the perfect pair of pants. Next up, we have almost the same pants, butt in black, but this one just doesn't have the little butt thing going on. We have these fabulous flare yoga pants and they are also as smooth as butter. And once again, I got these pants in an extra small and this top is the In My Feels basic padded workout top, workout crop top in an extra small and they fit perfectly. They're both the same exact material too. There's no like crazy stitching or patterns on these. They're as plain as can be, as simple as can be. And sometimes I just love being a plain and simple girl. What can I say? Wow, I'm like kind of ready to go on a run right now. Perhaps show face at the gym. And also this is like my staple essential airport outfit. Like give me a zip hoodie and I'm ready to go. They also have tons of dresses too. This dress specifically is the everyday cloud full backless two in one flare workout dress. I feel like this is perfect for like going to play tennis. And this is what the back looks like. And the really convenient thing about this dress is there's actually shorts under it. So you don't have to worry about putting on a show that you're not really trying to put on. And there's also a pocket right here. You can shove your phone on either side or if you have two phones, you can shove a phone on each side. Whatever you want to do with the pockets, they're there. This is making me want to go sign up for tennis lessons and like find a really cute tennis instructor to like fall in love with. Cause like, hi. They truly have every single color under the sun for this dress. Also, I'm wearing a size extra small. Also, I figured it would be worth noting that Halara just launched another dress with a very similar design, but the waistband in the back is open, which makes it so quick and easy to use the bathroom without having to take off the dress entirely. Cause I, for one, always appreciate not having to worry about that. The ordering process with Halara is so easy and really fast too. I cannot wait for those of you who have not tried them before to try them now and be like, damn, Caitlin Ray put me on. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. I mean, if you're asking me, I personally think that my favorite outfit is the all white one. And once again, do not forget to use my code Caitlin Ray for 20% off all full price items at Halara. Let's get into the car where you are going to listen to me and James. Just be me and James. Halara, I love you. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Yeah, that's it for now. Hello all. <laughs> And just like that, the James and Caitlin show has officially started. Thank heavens. Guys, he officially lives here. <laughs> I live here now and not just like for a summer and not like for a weekend. Permanently, I'm here. So we're just trying to navigate that. Yeah, I went to his apartment for the first time two nights ago and I'm still, still taking some time to myself to process <laughs> that extremely overwhelming encounter of you having a bed in a bed frame. And that's it. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing else and just this empty ass apartment. <laughs> yeah, so me getting furniture is the current journey. But now 
now his car's in the shop, so, so that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's literally <laughs> awesome. It's awesome when I go drop my car off to get my battery replaced and then they somehow make it so that my sound in my car doesn't work. <laughs> that's awesome. We're sitting outside of the Live Nation headquarters just loitering. I have a meeting in about 20 minutes. <laughs> we're both going to get signed as a duo. And we're gonna go on tour. And we're gonna and go on Live tour. Nation's producing the whole thing. Yes, our group is going to be successful. So if you guys want to see us on tour, just comment. This video just so happens to be the least amount of comments you've ever gotten. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to see that. Everyone's what would we even do on a stage? Everyone would comment to not see that. Actually, there was a USPS attached to it. And I just dropped off one of my Depop orders. Woo! My Coachella outfits have been sold. Don't worry, there is so many more goodies on my Depop, so please go buy from that because- Keep these lights on. Yes, actually buy something from my Depop so I can go get my left blinker fixed. Not that my Depop has anything to do with why it hasn't been fixed, I am the problem there. Like, I commend you for having a problem with your car and immediately going to get it fixed. My headlight's out and I'm not going to get it fixed today, but my sound is out and obviously that's more important than my headlight. Yeah. No, it's not, <laughs> of course. No, but it, it, it is, of don't course. lie. Like, I literally can't just sit in silence or I'll actually, yeah. I'll be on the news. Like, it'll be awful. <laughs> So now we're trying to decide what to do. Yeah, we don't really know what to do right now because- Because the grocery store is out of the question. For yeah, I desperately, desperately need to go to the grocery store. I need to stop door dashing every single meal, but I don't want to go to the grocery store at all. It's just not happening today. So we're not doing that. I just can't believe we're in this situation where me and you just get to like pick what we want to do for the day because we both live here now. And parade around Los Angeles. We've been waiting for this since we were 15. Let's okay. call the paparazzi and go be seen. They would literally be like, please stop calling. No one wants to see you. Your shot is worth nothing. We, we don't want to shoot you. Right? No, I was crying earlier. James was like, I'm gonna just keep messaging the paparazzi <laughs> in like J14, the most foul rumors about myself until they tell me to stop messaging them because who the fuck am I? <laughs> They're gonna be like, we're not printing any of this fucking stuff. <laughs> who are you? And is Literally, any of this even true? <laughs> who is this person that it keeps DMing us? <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to go work with Lululemon, but I fear that's what I might have to Oh god, not another Lululemon. Another one. The James and Lululemon saga pipeline never will never end. Never end. In July, it'll be four years. Okay, well, it feels like seven, so four is crazy. Four is crazy. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do, and we're gonna let you know. It's either Ulta or perhaps eBay. Do you want to see my haul? So she's never had any kids in the corner. Which is nuts. But she also didn't even know like what, what it was. Like why it was like such a good thing. Do you see the sign that says Slurry Love Kids in? No. The sign that says, due to the safety of our staff, the wearing of masks in our store is strictly prohibited. It makes <laughs> you literally go. Oh my god! So what the fuck did you buy? I bought one thing or multiple. It's, it's just one. Okay. It's just a hat that says trophy husband. That's so cute. Right? That's Isn't so this like cute. the cutest fucking thing ever? I think I accomplished something today. Right. It was literally 38 bucks. I like to cosplay as Nicole Richie. I know. So <laughs> <laughs> I am just obsessed with my hat. I just got my nails done. I was hanging on by a thread for the past few weeks with the broken nail right here. You know, I should really consider dropping off the clothes in the back of my car to Goodwill like I was supposed to do like months ago. I don't know if today will be the day for that because it's just cold. It's cold. I don't want to function. I don't want to do fucking anything. I am waiting right now to find out if I am going to South Korea in a week and a half and I've been waiting almost five or six days to find out if this last minute brand trip is happening and I'm honestly losing my fucking mind. I had a nightmare about it last night. Not even a nightmare like a dream but I woke up this morning you know when like you actually start crying in your dreams and you wake up and you're like soaking wet not like that but like your face <laughs> because you were just crying in your dream yeah I woke up this morning because I was crying that I had a dream that I actually got approved to go on this brand trip and I was just so happy that I cried in my dream and then woke up actually crying and now I'm like oh I think today's the day that I find out if it's happening or not and it's down between me and two other people and I really want it so bad you guys I really fucking want it and that's kind of what's on my plate at the moment as of now I think I'm just gonna go home and go film some TikToks. I really do need to go to the grocery store, so I should go to the grocery store at some point, but I am obsessed with my new bag, you guys, by the way. It's my new fucking best friend. I've never been much of a tote girl, but now I'm a tote girl. Technically, this is my mom's, and she's just letting me borrow it, but it's gonna end up staying with me for a very long time. It's just so me. Guys, this Halara outfit is, like, borderline ridiculous. I am so in love with this. I wanna wear this every day, and guess what's gonna happen right now? I'm gonna stain it from my spray tan I got a couple days ago, but you know what? Whatever. This is what I wanna wear right now to talk to you guys. First off, I did not get picked for the South Korea trip. 
So there's that. So now, since I am really confused all my life and what I'm doing this summer, I am just going to use this time to do my makeup, which doing my makeup right now kind of makes no sense because what I'm doing right now is just cleaning the fuck out of my apartment in my room and my bathroom because it is trash. It is a Sunday now, so obviously I just went out the past couple nights and I am just trying to reset my life before the week starts and being productive with a messy room is just never something that is going to happen for me. So I'm trying to make myself do my makeup every single day for a week straight because my productivity right now is so not great. As we can tell, I've been gone from YouTube for so long and a big reason for that is that I just feel like shit about myself every fucking day when I wake up, especially with my acne. And girlies with acne, you know how debilitating that reflection is when you're breaking out so badly. It just makes me not want to put makeup on. It makes me not want to speak to anyone and go anywhere and I really need to get over that. So with that being said, I have finally, finally, finally hit a point where I have taken some gorgeous strides in the right direction with my life lately, which is really fucking hard. I actually just had an appointment with a new psychiatrist the other day. I have been struggling to find a good psychiatrist for the past like two, three years. And did I find a good one the other day? No, I did not. The good thing from that though, is that I did get two new types of medicine. I'm just gonna tell you what I got prescribed because honestly, I see Ken Urich talk about her prescriptions all the time. And like, I find a lot of comfort in people's comments of giving their tips, tricks, suggestions, whatever. I know we're all not doctors, but like, I wanna be open with you guys on this stuff. So I got prescribed Ritalin, which I'm actually pretty excited to start trying this week. I'm gonna be telling you how that goes in my next vlog. And then I also got prescribed Lamictal. The psychiatrist wanted me to do Zoloft and I was like, oh my God, if I do one more appointment with a psychiatrist where they listen to me for three seconds and they're like, you should try Zoloft. I'm gonna be on the news. I'm going to be on the news. I was like, no, I'm not doing Zoloft. That's not happening. So we need to find something else for me. So we're gonna try Miss Lamictal. I also went to a new dermatologist, which is huge for me because I can't get into a routine because my ADHD is so bad. But now that I hopefully have new medicine for that, I'm gonna be able to stick with the skincare routine. So I saw a new dermatologist a couple days ago. I haven't seen one since I lived in fucking Boston. I went back and saw my Boston dermatologist a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and then haven't done anything since, which is not good because my hormonal acne ever since I stopped birth control last year is just so bad. So I got tretinoin and I'm trying spironolactone again. For the few times that I've managed to do spironolactone for like a week straight, I saw a difference, which is crazy because you'd think, why would you stop taking it if you saw a difference? A bitch can't do a routine. No, I am so tired of living routineless and the way that I have. Just trying to enter a new era right now, guys. And I also, the other day, just signed a contract with a new manager. I actually let my manager that I had since I was 18 or 19 go last summer. And it was one of the hardest choices I've ever had to make for myself in my fucking life. I've kind of just been like loosely working with two agencies for the past year, but then I realized like, your girl needs a little bit more attention. <laughs> and a little bit more hands-on of a manager. And I actually just signed with Liz, one of my like best friends that you guys see myself all the time. Her manager, this newer agency that she joined within the past year. And yeah, I signed that contract a couple days ago and I'm really excited about it. And I really think that it's going to push me in the right direction again. So I need to be more proud of myself for the big, big things. <laughs> Knocking over one of my favorite perfumes. I get compliments from every single man in the world when I wear this, by the way. So, K Ali Deja Vu White Flower. Thank you for giving me male attention. I've also been starting to do workout classes again. I mean, hello, how could I not with all my new Halara stuff? And that is something that I've been really struggling with too because I ended up quitting my personal training, which I didn't tell you guys about because I was really fucking embarrassed that I couldn't stick to that routine. It just wasn't for me. My trainer was a bodybuilder. I just don't think our goals in the workouts that we both had in mind aligned at all. But I actually really miss that girly because I had fun. I had fun talking to her. So now let's get into more recent updates. Um, Yeah, I have not had a video out since my Coachella vlogs. Every single year, my Coachella vlogs suck the life out of me because I put in so much effort into them. I really, really, really fucked up big time this year with how long it took me to get everything out. And obviously everything falls hand in hand with my untreated bullshit. I'm trying to just get myself on track so that that never, ever, ever happens again because I'm tired of being the girly that is just constantly late and unable to be the version of myself that I want to be like I'm mortified at how late those vlogs come out right after that me and Sarah and Ashlyn went to Vegas for Sarah's birthday and we had the best time we didn't vlog I know I'm so sorry but that was just one of those weekends that we kind of wanted to ourselves I posted a little bit of a recap of the lovers and friends festival that we went to we saw Usher, Flo Rida, T.I. and then after that we went to XS which is one of our favorite nightclubs in Vegas Sarah was having such a blast which made me so happy and then a couple days after that I went to Disney World with my mom and and my two brothers, which was really special. My mom is just absolutely obsessed with Disney. I mean, guys, my dog's name is Minnie. Let's not forget. My mom's just been 
dying to go and we hadn't been to Disney since before the pandemic. Every single time I see my brothers, you guys, I literally freak the fuck out because Aiden is the tallest one in my family now somehow. I don't know when that happened, but it is horrifying. He's now 17. What the hell? I swear to God, we were just vlogging in my car yesterday and my other brother turned 21 in December. So he's turning 22 this year. I'm turning 24. Ew, 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 ew. But that was a really awesome weekend just to be with my family. We did Animal Kingdom. We did Epcot. I got to drink around the world. I got to drink around the world with Mike. That was so much fun. I hadn't seen Mike in like a year and it was so funny just being with my mom, my brothers and Mike for a little bit. Like what an interesting mix. Oh my God. I got to go on one of the Avatar rides for the first time too. I got to see the big giant animatronic and I just can't believe how insane that thing is. I wish Avatar was real. I really do. I also went on the new Tron ride at Disney. It was great, but it was also really short. So I don't, I don't know. Don't really know my feelings on that one, but the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Oh my God. Those are my favorite Marvel movies ever. The Guardians of the Galaxy ride was unbelievable. I wanted to go on it again so badly, but my, I think my mom paid like 80 bucks to go on that separately from our Disney tickets at like seven in the morning. The wait times are crazy and they do it virtually now. I don't know, but I treasured every second on that ride. It was so, so fun. And I just, I love older music more than anything in the entire world. And this is the song that they played. I guess they play a new song every single time you go on it. And this is the one that was playing when I went on it. Oh, so yeah, that was my song for it. Love. By the way, the timeline of this all is I went to Vegas with Sarah, I think Friday to Monday. Then I went to Disney Wednesday to Monday. And then I went to Hawaii with Selva Ray Wednesday to Saturday. And I really wish I vlogged that, but I didn't. I know some of you guys have been saying on TikTok that you're waiting for a vlog from that, but I didn't vlog it because it was obviously a brand trip and they mostly just wanted TikToks and Instagrams from it. That was just such a genuinely good time. It was me, Sarah, Baska, Gabby Gonzalez got the um, she got to fly over from Kauai. And this all happened on Big Island, by the way, at the most gorgeous resort I've ever been to in my life. It's really funny because it was at this resort that me, Kayla, and Caitlin used to sneak into all the time to like go use the pool. So being flown out to Big Island, first of all, like to that specific hotel, that was fucking crazy. And I'm really close with the marketing girl at Selva Ray. Her name is also Sarah. You're gonna see her a lot in this next vlog that I have coming out like immediately after this one. She was there, her and Sarah Basket finally got to properly meet and hang out for the first time and I got to meet the rest of the Selvery team and you guys another thing that I've really been struggling with the past couple months is intense loneliness like I know that I show a lot of my life online as like being fun and going out and partying and having all these awesome friends and doing all these awesome things which I'm so grateful for and I have those things but most of the time of the week is spent alone in my bedroom crying like I'm just gonna be so for real I really have had nothing going on for me for a really long time now. I can't really join workout classes right now because of how bad my anxiety is. I have really bad car anxiety out here, so I don't like driving a lot. I kind of feel like whenever I move, I feel like I'm just stuck in my own bubble every single day. And a lot of my friends don't really like going out in the daytime, which I want to do, and not having like a manager and someone like really looking after me. I'm not really close with a lot of influencers either. Like I have my friends and I don't know, everyone has their own lives. Most of them have normal jobs. So I just feel like every single day, day in and day out, I'm just fucking lonely for the most part. That issue has started to resolve itself a lot, thank fucking God. And especially with James being here now, like my life has done a 180 already. I don't know how I ever survived without him out here. I really don't. With that being said, meeting the whole Selva Ray team and being with them in Hawaii and all of us just having a good fucking time was so special to me because, you know, like I don't have a corporate job or anything. I don't have like a community I directly belong to because of my work. Just feeling like I belonged somewhere that weekend and was really appreciated by that team because of just shit that's happened the past year and a half and having so many mutual friends involved. It was just really fucking special to belong somewhere and truly love an entire group of people. I will die for the Selvery team. It was funny because on the last day I was supposed to fly out Friday morning and I was like, oh my God, all the corporate guys were leaving Saturday. My flight was Friday at one and the, their flight was like Saturday at one. And everyone, after the big party that Bruno did Friday night where he was pouring us drinks at the bar and then he performed the salsa band, that was an absolute blast. We all woke up at nine in the morning and Mehana tattoos now. And so everyone's 
just started texting me at once and was like, when are we gonna do tattoos? And Mahana was like, can I tell everyone to be in your room and can we all get tattoos right now? And I was like, yeah. So all of a sudden, I have like two corporate self-array people. My best friend Mahana from when I lived here. We're all sitting in my hotel room and we're all letting Mahana tattoo us. I got this Mai Tai. Mahana had this flash sheet of self-array themed tattoos. Sarah on the self-array team got her first tattoo and also got two, which was so out of pocket and ridiculous. And then this guy, Brian on the team also got a tattoo. He got a hibiscus behind his ear. And it was just this beautiful moment because Brian was laying on my bed getting tattooed by Mahana and I was like freaking out because I was like, oh my God, guys, I have to like leave and go to the airport in 10 minutes. And Sarah was in her hotel room packing and I was like, I don't want to leave. I want to stay and chill. And then Brian was getting tattooed and he looks at me and just goes, are you really just like gonna leave now? And I was like, you're so right. Like, no, what? why would I leave? So Ray Sarah was like, yeah, like we could all just go do a dinner at On The Rocks, my favorite place with the fried rice that is no longer. She was like, why don't we all just go do like a corporate dinner with like you and Sarah there tonight? And I was like, oh my God, you're right. And then I changed my flight to the next day. I went to Sarah's room, knocked on her door, told her that that's what we're doing. And we changed our flight and had the fucking best day ever just hanging out with everyone and going to On The Rocks. It was really special. And also guys, when you're an influencer, you do a lot of brand deals, speak to a lot of people and email a lot of people that you're never gonna meet in person in your life. And nothing is ever gonna be face to face. It's all just gonna be people sending you packages for you to do. And this is not me complaining at all. This is me just telling you like the truth. You're never gonna have real life connections with some of the brands that you do brand deals with. And this is the first time that I have that. I'm really just grateful for it. God bless that rum, y'all. Bruno absolutely popped off with Selva Ray, let me tell you that much. So that's my kind of rant on being lonely, I guess. I just feel really good about things now and I haven't felt like that in a while. Also, you may be wondering if me and Sarah have figured out our European summer. No, we have not. And I hate saying that as much as you guys probably hate hearing that because I really wanna get you guys that content so bad. But keep in mind that that shit is so expensive. Pulling like a $20,000 Europe trip last minute out of my ass is a lot. I think our big fail was not planning this in like March because we were like too depressed to be thinking about summer because me and Sarah unfortunately have very similar brains. So we didn't plan ahead like all the other smart girlies did. So now literally it costs so much money. There's like no Airbnbs and hotels, but there might be an opportunity for us to go in August. I'm, I'm gonna try. The theme of this summer is gonna be last minute, okay? I really wish that that South Korea trip would have happened, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason. I didn't get that for a reason. And that means that something better has to be coming my way because if it doesn't, I will have to up my dosage on my new medicine. What am I doing with my life? 23 is a weird age, you guys. Okay, I'm going to clean my apartment and throw out this like three day old matcha. Shall I? I shall. Why the fuck do I just never sleep anymore? Actually, I know why I didn't sleep. Me and Sarah do this thing where like we will both find out that each other are awake at like 1 a.m. and then we will keep each other up until 4 a.m. talking about absolute nonsense. We will get hyper fixated on something and we will not shut the fuck up until one of us passes out and the other one realizes the other one passed out and then is like, oh yeah, it's four in the fucking morning. Maybe we should go to bed. So now I'm running on four hours of sleep for really no reason. I'm going to Rivkin Aesthetics, also known as West Side Aesthetics. My favorite people in the world that did my under eye filler a couple years ago. Now they just do my random Botox and random other filler. I'm going today because the girl that did my under eye filler almost five years ago now, Natalie, she moved away a couple years ago and then only just moved back to LA. She started working there again and I was like, okay, that's my sign. That's my calling. I have to go back in. I think I'm going to do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of lip filler today because I actually did lip filler with them a couple months ago, but I also made the mistake of getting a lip flip at the same time and I looked like a fucking idiot and had such bad anxiety over it that I got all of it. Well, you can't really dissolve Botox, but I got all the filler dissolved to try to lessen the effects of the lip flip and it got rid of the original lip filler that I did have in that I like. I just want to kind of get back to where I was before because it was cute. It was a moment. I also want them to check on my chin filler and see if it's like literally even still there because I don't know if it is. I just can't wait to see my queen Natalie. I'm going to listen to the Backstreet Boys and pull into this parking lot because there's a lot going on right now. Didn't you start aesthetics with me? Yeah, like you were the first person yeah. that's ever done anything. Was it here that we started or Garth Fisher? Here. 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 We're going to start with the upper right first. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even feel that. Oh, period? <laughs> period. <laughs> here she goes. <laughs> You're the star of the show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't feel literally any of that. That's crazy. You love that. So I know. Soft hands. So chin, you will feel, okay? Just a little touch up, okay? Because I don't want the yeah. angle to be like this. It yeah. should be perfect. Yeah, so when we met, she was still flying to LA, but she was moved, like in the process of okay. moving. Mm -hmm. Not even yet. Not even? No, yeah, yeah I was just even. staying in my your friend's friend, apartment. You used to Jake. Come with your yeah, Jake. Jake. <laughs> he would film, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh, this is the best day ever. It looks so good. Oh, you are the best. Thank you so much. My favorite thing about myself is that I am just stupid. Like, I have a couple brain cells that still work. The one thing that you can't do after you get lip filler is drink out of a straw. And I needed to get my parking validated, so I went downstairs out of rib kinesthetics and went to like the little cafe where they have endless options of food and drink. And I'm like, hmm, you know what I'm gonna buy to validate my parking? Something that requires a straw, which I can't have, AKA this strange orange smoothie with fruits that I don't even know what the fuck is in this that I can't even drink right now unless I find like a funnel and like funnel this into my mouth. But I also just drove 20 minutes now it like looks like shit anyway. So like I just spent 11 bucks almost on this for no reason. Should I just like, my lips are also so swollen that like, oh my God, wait, this looks so good though. What the hell is this? This is the weirdest thing ever. There's like literally dried blood on my chin right now and I'm not gonna do anything about it. What a fabulous start to my day. I should so go back to bed now. God, I want hibachi so bad right now. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I am in the middle of this obsession on my Instagram stories where I post about the national holiday that it happens to be every single day. Yesterday was national peanut butter cookie day. The day before was national sex day. But today is actually national call your doctor day and national axe throwing day. I really, really, really wanted to go out tonight. I go to a bar and actually throw axe Taxes, but maybe we'll go to the movies later. I need to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Maybe I'll do that tonight and do like a belated international axe throwing day celebration in a couple days when I can like drink. Cause I would love to have a beer and throw an axe. I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. Oh yeah, it's international call your doctor day. So like I kind of did that today. I called Natalie, called Rib Kinesthetics and said, hey, get me in. So there's really no point in the rest of the day cause I've already celebrated. And that smoothie has left the most disgusting aftertaste in my mouth. <laughs>